Hello everyone, happy holidays. Thank you so much for joining me for another Mortgage Accelerator video. Today we're gonna to be discussing what is DSCR and how do we actually calculate that? Now let's jump into it. All right, so first things first, let's just do a quick definition of what DSCR is. DSCR stands for Debt Service Coverage Ratio. And what that is, it's simply a metric that lenders use to determine how well a subject property can service the debt they're, they're about to issue it. The equation for debt service coverage ratio is simply the net operating income divided by the annual debt obligation. You could also do it on a monthly basis. So the monthly net operating income divided by the monthly debt obligation. So let's look at a quick example of when DSCR would pop up and how to actually work that out. All right, so for any uh, any deal, there's normally three factors. There's the lender, there's the borrower, and there's the property. When we're determining the debt service ratio, all we really need is the lender requirement as well as the property. So let's first jump into the property, what we have on this scenario. So first off, let's just say it's a 15-unit multifamily property, 100% occupied. It's doing great. The purchase price is a million dollars, and the annual gross income is $126,000. Now, after all the operating expenses, the NOI comes out to about $96,000 annually. And if you break that down on a monthly basis, that's a cash flow of $8,000 a month. Fantastic. Now, the lender looked at this property and let's just say they love the location. They're cool with the purchase price. And now they're going to set out their terms. So the lender says, okay, borrower, we're willing to lend you 70% loan to value on this. That would come out to a $700,000 loan amount. And we're going to give you that on an interest only loan of 10.99%. Now, if you look at that interest rate and we multiply that by the debt that they're issuing, which is $700,000, that gives us an annual debt obligation of $76,000. And if you break that down to a monthly debt obligation, it's a $6,400 monthly payment. Now, after all that said, the lender is going to say, well, we can give you these terms. However, the property must debt service at a 1.2 DSCR or greater. Now, now that we have the debt service requirement from the lender and we know what they're willing to give us, now we have enough information to do the equation. All right. So just like we talked about before, the equation is going to look at the net operating income on the property as well as the annual debt obligation. So if we take the net operating income and we divide it by the annual debt obligation, that's going to hit, that's going to give us the debt service coverage ratio for this property. How well is the property debt servicing? Now there is another way to get the debt service ratio on the property. And that's simply to look at the monthly cash flow as well as the monthly payment. So we're going to divide the monthly cash flow by the monthly payment, and that's going to give us our debt service. Now, both of these equations are going to give us the same answer. One simply stating annual and one stating monthly, but it's going to be the same answer in the end. This property, based on the terms, will debt service at a 1.25 debt service, which means the borrower qualifies for the loan and they're going to be able to get a loan for the property and move forward with underwriting. Now, the question is, and it comes out up a lot, what if the property does not debt service? So let's say the property's net operating income income is far lower. Let's say it's around eighty thousand, and let's just say the debt service does come out to only like one point one five debt service. Well, in that case, it wouldn't qualify for the lender's requirement of one point two. So what's going to happen is the lender is going to come back and they're going to say, "Well, borrower, the property doesn't debt service at one point two. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to lower the loan amount." until the property does debt service. So let's just say the, the loan goes from 700,000 and they're gonna say, we're gonna give you 500,000 because at that point, it debt services at 1.2. Another option you could do, and you could get, get with the borrower and see if they're willing to do this, is you could try to buy the interest rate down. If you buy the interest rate down, then the debt service is gonna go up on the property. And the reason why it's gonna go up is because if you buy the interest rate down, the, 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 the annual debt obligation is your interest rate multiplied by the debt that's issued. And that's going to be our, our interest only monthly payment. So if we do that, we lower the interest rate, that's going to increase the debt service and it's going to allow the borrower to get a higher loan amount in that case. So there are a couple ways to work it out, but ultimately if you don't meet the debt service, there are only two things that you can change to get the loan through. That's either lowering the loan amount or lowering the interest rate so that the um, the, so that the debt service can increase. 
Well, anyways, I want to thank you so much for joining me for this video. Um, if you haven't already done so, scan this QR code. It will take you straight to our mortgage course. And because you watch towards the end of this video, we're going to give the first 10 people who use this discount code DSCR 25% off that course. I want to thank you again. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and we'll get going on the next video. Talk soon.